Good, beautiful day, everybody. Guess what? We're at the beach. Y'all know we couldn't come over here to the East Coast and not check out the beach. So we've landed in Rhode Island. So this is actually the campground we're staying at. If you can look behind me, this is basically a parking lot. There's a ton of sites here. It's $30 per site. If you're uh, a resident in Rhode Island, I think it's only like 17 bucks per site. But this is, okay, this is my first time walking up to this water and wow, it is gorgeous. I mean, it's really pretty. Jeez. Okay, right on. Yeah. Oh, there's a dead crab too, or an exoskeleton of a crab. Hmm. Yeah, that, that thing shedded its skin. All right, I want to go see the beach. Yeah. So we got here late last night. It was, well, it wasn't late. It was dark. I'll put it that way. So I didn't personally get to see anything. Cody kind of walked out and looked, but it was dark. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to wait till in the morning. And right now this campground's pretty empty. I think it is the off season because they've already closed the bathrooms for the summer. So if you don't have a fully enclosed unit, they're not going to allow you to stay here. However, it's really nice temperatures. I don't know why they've already closed the bathrooms and made it kind of winter ready. And it doesn't even feel like winter. I think at the high today is going to be in the high 70s. 60s, 70s. Oh, wait. Yes. So yesterday it would have been a perfect day. It was like high 75. And then today I think it's going to be high 65. And then after that, we got some rain and a cold front coming through. Oh, by the way, this is our first time to ever be in Rhode Island. Wow. for me. I need my bathing suit, my lounge. <laughs> And they have the most amazing park ranger office. It is so big. It's got so much going on. They're really busy here, y'all. <laughs> so this campground also does not have any hookups, no electric water sewer, but they do allow you to use the state park, which is right down the road to dump and refill your tanks if you're interested in staying here. And as of right now, I recommend it. I mean, you got walking beach access. It was really quiet. There was not a lot of lights going on out here and we decided to get this spot way at the very end <laughs> by ourselves This beach has totally exceeded our expectations. Matter of fact, I didn't even have any expectations, mm -hmm. but hanging out on the beach all day, we were gonna have a dinner in the camper and have like a sandwich type thing, but now we want seafood. That's always what happens when you're at the beach all day. I know, we can't help it. We're just craving seafood. So we're going to this cute little town. It's probably 40 minutes away and we'll talk about it when we get there. We have made it to Newport, Rhode Island and Kelly is getting us a nice little parking thingy. So we drove through here yesterday and this little town is like something out of Jack Sparrow's Pirates of the Caribbean to me. It is such a neat little town and I wanted to actually come back and walk through it and immerse myself in it because it is so pretty.
So we did see online this really cool tiki bar and of course we had to check it out. We had a cocktail. We're gonna go eat at Clark Cook's. It looks really good because they've got sushi and seafood, of course. That's what we came here for. Would you like to see the uh, sushi menu? <laughs> Good morning, y'all. It's early for us. We tried to get up a little earlier this morning to get on the ball, get the ball rolling, however you want to say it. So something pretty interesting is that the town of Newport is on the island of Aquidneck. But that island that we were on last night was originally called Rhode Island. I always wondered how did Rhode Island get the name Rhode Island if it wasn't an island. Well, apparently that part was an island and the surrounding areas eventually joined with that colony and then that's how the whole region got the name Rhode Island and Rhode Island in Dutch is the original language that it came from meant red clay so the island had red clay on the uh, banks and that's how the name got Rhode Island. When I was younger I just thought it had a road on the island. This morning I'm gonna make some French toast. We got our raisin bread and I'm making the milk mixture right now. And if y'all notice, it's really, really cloudy outside because Tropical Storm Philippe. People are calling it either Philip or Philippe is coming in. I think we might go a little bit further inland today. We're getting ready to leave this campground. And like we told you before, they don't have any septic any water anything here but they do let you dump and refill at a state park which they give you a permit for and then we're going to head over there dump our gray water and refill our fresh water so they're letting us dump and refill at burling game state park and cody has already dumped over there we've moved on up here where the water is safe to drink and we're going to fill our tank up here with that water and then we're going to be on our way we have no idea where we're going we told some people that last night and they were like what you don't know no we have no idea all we know is the storm's going to be coming in and it's going to be raining here for an entire week so we're just going to go south we wish we could have stayed longer but there's just been a ton of rain in this area and it kind of makes it hard for us to really do anything so we're gonna head south a little bit. We might make a stop in between. I did find a lavender farm that I wanted to go visit. So we might stop and do that on the way. But I think we've probably got about a five hour drive ahead of us. So we'll see where it takes us today. If you can read that sign, you guessed it. Lavender farm. Love lavender. Had to come see this place, super cute. So we're gonna run into this gift shop real quick and see what we can pick up. I'm hoping to get essential oils, that's for sure. We got a bunch of stuff, kinda. So they have lavender lemonade, so we each got one of those. Body butter. And I'm almost out of my Young Living chapstick, so I got lip balm. And then of course, essential oil. All right, now we've got to go find camp and it's going to be quite a long drive. So we are trying to find somewhere free to camp and we started using this new app called Campendium and what you can do is change filters on it. So you can find camp campgrounds that cost money or you can do free camping. I have it at zero dollars and I'm going to select public land and view results. So we're in Connecticut and we're going to have to go over here at least somewhere to find something for free. So that's why we say we've got a long drive. So that's what we'll be doing today. And the other thing we need to check is the weather in the region because that's going to dictate which one of those free camping locations we're going to be driving to. All right and here we go. Well, we have a really big letdown. After driving for about three hours and 45 minutes, we got to this state forest and every single dispersed camping spot is taken. Which there wasn't many to begin with. And we're about 
I'd say at least a two hour drive to the next state forest that has a dispersed camping that you're allowed to do in. And it's already 414. I don't know if we're gonna keep driving north or if we're just gonna find a campground, if we can find one and just pay for the night. And one other thing I wanted to let y'all know, some of y'all have said something about camping in Walmart parking lots and we found out, especially out here in the east and definitely on the west coast, Walmarts are now prohibiting people from camping in their parking lots. They have signs all out that says no overnight parking. But it's real beautiful out here though. So since they didn't have any camping back there on that road, we're now at the beginning of the road. And we're just gonna be here. There's the main highway and we're right here. After all that, we're extremely mentally exhausted. So I think we're just gonna call this one. But we'll catch you on the other. See you next time.